All right. All right, cool. Here with uh, Billy the Fridge from uh, Drunken Peasants. And what's your new channel name? Uh, Billy the Fridge IRL. Um, shit. Uh, so I wanted to ask you about, um, like, like I know everybody wants to know about fucking Onision right now and everything like that. Um, yeah. like when you first when you first started coming up, did you meet him early on when you first started coming up, or how did that exactly happen? Okay, so when I met Onision, it was after he and uh, Kai broke up with Billy. And there was a video that went out where he's like explaining the relationship he had with Billy. And I took that video and I cut it apart and made it look like I was in a triangle relationship with Onision and Kai <laughs> as like as a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, then he saw it and he messaged me and was like, hey, that was pretty funny. Um, we should collab. And I was like, well, I, I totally just like took the piss out of this guy. And he contacted me to collab. I put his name in my mouth. I might as well see what he's all about. The day before I met him, I was like randomly at this party with uh, Seer, Vincent Seer. Yeah. And this was after they had their falling out. And Seer was like, dude, trust me, man. It's not worth it. You don't want to do that. He's blah, blah, blah. And then we talked about it. And he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Go do it. See for yourself. See what will happen. And I'm like, okay. And I went there the next day and I met him and we shot some videos and they were, they were funny. And uh, it was just like he was really um kind and uh chill and i confronted him about a lot of topics that were going on at the time and he just had like answers that were like you know i'm i'm realizing what mistakes i've made and i'm trying to get better and i was like uh you know that's well, like, so can't... it seemed reasonable at the time you're like fuck it i mean he doesn't seem like a bad guy and everything like yeah that. As I know 100 percent, 100 percent of the time with me he was uh he was not doing pulling any fucking shit so right would you like, say that, like ever ever would you say would he did he ever pull any bullshit with you like that people you know that the people that come out and say anything about him has he ever done anything like that to you anything no like th there was there was one time where he felt like i was lying to him because uh, i was hanging out with leafy is here and leafy is here and i had talked about meeting up with onision he's like man that'd be crazy to actually meet onision he was like, he was like, yeah, we, we could probably, we could probably meet up with him, like do a lunch or something and see what he's really like. And then Leafy was like, nah, you know what? I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. He backed out. And then, so Onision thought I was like lying about Onision or Leafy and Onision wanting to like oh, meet up or whatever. Okay. okay. And he's like, like, Billy the Fridge totally uh, was lying to me about Leafy. And I'm like, I wasn't lying. Dude changed his mind. Like it's simple. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then he's like, oh, okay. Well then uh, w w we're okay then. And then uh, there was another time where he just like, he was filming a lot of his house and uh, he was inviting us all out to come film videos but it was like a Saturday morning and I do like a podcast Saturday nights all the time. So it was like, he lives hour and a half away from me. It's like, it's like a big trek to do. So I wasn't going yeah. to these things. And he was like, he got like hurt and he was like, I guess I don't really have any real friends. And he, and he was like, like, like flipped out that we weren't going to shoot with him. And, uh, I was just like, Hey man, you know, sorry that you feel that way. Uh, thanks for shooting with me and stuff. We had a good time. Uh, whenever we hung out with you and then, you know, he, when we don't react like angrily towards him, he's like, you know what? I would never do that to you, but I guess, I guess I won't leave you hanging and I'll, 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 I'll come back and, and we'll, we'll, we'll come to like a, a birthday party or something that we were having. So I'll come. I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave you hanging like that. And I was like, okay, thank you. Like, you know, it was literally like. Uh, it was always up to you to end this relationship uh so nothing up until that point nothing too crazy until like up until recently when you cut it off and like we'll, we'll get to that that's fine but um so um i i know like look i i know like we spoke we had a, actually a, a pretty big argument on drunken peasants like i, I wouldn't say argument whatever it was it was whatever you know what i mean it was a lot of we, a lot we of, definitely like, had a back and forth yeah, and, back and forth. i i do yeah. i do a lot of uh like acting like I, I i do a lot of craziness yeah so like i was getting into it we were on a i thought it was great I, I thought it was great man honestly i thought it was yeah, great. yeah, yeah. i okay. was just like i was like tearing a tearing at yeah. you and yeah. I, I i obviously you know um i don't i don't think that uh everything i said was uh necessarily 
kind or anything <laughs> and and i was just being like entertaining entertaining yeah, right which it was I, I, I definitely had like some seeds of like anger like fuck this guy type of thing <laughs> going through my head yeah but like i was over the top just rah 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 yeah. and um and then we talked afterwards yeah and it told was good me, content like, anyway of everything and yeah. i'm like i'm like yeah I, I understand you're just doing what you do out here trying to make it on youtube that's what a lot of fucking people do yeah i just I, when I got when I got called in, I was like, "Oh no, this is this is this ain't happening." <laughs> and, like I, I definitely disagreed with what you said at the time. Yeah. I felt like it was out of out of context, out of character. But you yeah. were just doing yeah what I'm, you felt was right I, at the time. Yeah, I, it is what it is, and I, like I, I do, I, I respect you uh, being like you, you know you're a decent friend, and what you being like that towards them that must have been tough to be that way all the time because I know. Anytime uh, Onision did something or fucked up for... How long were you friends with him again? For how many years? I want to say the first time I met him was January of 2017. Okay. So it was uh, just under, what, three years? Okay. Two and a half years, maybe. So a little over just, two and a half years. So would you say it's safe to say, like, every time, you know, he fucked up or did something dumb, everybody came to you and was like, hey why are you still his friend hey why the fuck are you still around him and they were just expecting you to like cut ties right yeah yeah and even after now that i've cut ties it's like people are still like you're still friends with him you're I still actually friends with him. i actually still hear that <laughs> i actually still hear that no joke in my discord no. is, he, is he still friends with him is he i'm like i don't think so no i haven't i haven't talked to him um like we talked a little bit after i told him that i was uh no longer going to be working with him yeah i was like Man, I, can't, I can't i can't do this dude like if, if if things come out that this was all wrong with sarah and like you're wrongfully accused come talk to me man if, if that's the case if that's the case is that you know we'll, we'll talk then you know that's yes. what i told him so the, when the sarah thing came out you went you went to his house and had to have that talk with him how'd that go uh so uh I went over there and they were already filming when I got there. There was a bunch of uh, uh, videos being made. There were uh, friends of mine were there um, filming with him. Like that was one of the cool things about shooting with him is I got to see all these other people that were like friends of mine too, you know, like I didn't yeah. always get to see. I knew they'd be there. So I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's all get together, have some fun. But I get there and I know I got I to gotta talk to him. Like I could have just ghosted and not showed up. We had these plans. For this meeting before uh sarah came out and it was like the first time i was going to his house in over a year uh and it was like he had been complaining about us not showing up there when he invites us out so i'm like i'm like damn do i just ghost him or do i go and i sit down and talk with him and get his side of things so that i know you know just so i know i was like i'm gonna go talk to him um uh, and i just i was like man just like we gotta talk we gotta we gotta see what's up we gotta i gotta see where you're coming from and he like brought up uh very vague descriptions of things because of like an nda or whatever whoa, i don't whoa. know wait wait hold on so what were you at the time when you spoke to him what was your assumption of the sarah thing like you know just like well i mean once at the time i knew what had happened uh sarah had said that you know they had had sex or whatever and i'm like this whole time that i was defending him i use sarah being like just like a their like their their in their care type of thing their friend you know i was like that, yeah. that's not it's not like that it's not a sexual thing i i never had even met her in real life and according to sarah's tweet at one point um she had said that that was by design that greg didn't want her or donision didn't want her to meet uh me or uh, my friend joe who would film with him yeah like she she didn't want she said that he was he didn't want us being suspicious of their relationship and i i, I had no idea you know that that was going on i never met sarah i had like a couple conversations not even conversations i've had a couple interactions with kai yeah they were like hey how you doing all good you know that's like, so just, I, you don't find that a little strange that they like i don't know like he didn't no he, no he, because uh the thing with kai is uh whenever we were at the house filming we would be filming with onision and kai would be like watching after the kids separately you okay, know the kids wouldn't okay. be around us that's a, that's a so. thing that people always try to bring up and i don't want to bring up the kids because i i keep finding this annoying i'm, I'm actually getting annoyed yeah. with people they keep trying to poke into their personal life and i'm, I'm really starting like 
I, I see a lot of people, they don't give a shit about what you do to Onision. They don't care because they're like, fuck it, he he might be a pedo or a predator, so fuck it, who cares? Like, whatever he gets, he, whatever is coming to him, it doesn't matter. And um, yeah. like, it, people think that like they're terrible parents or anything like that. Like, it, you haven't seen anything like that, right? I mean, like, I, I, I like. I, I don't think I don't think that uh, I would have been able to see how terrible they were uh, yeah. most of the time. You know, like they, we were there, so maybe they were on best behavior. But everything that was happening there was perfectly fine. You know, these kids were happy. They were I'd see them for like a couple seconds when we'd go into another room and they'd be up playing somewhere. They were just happy kids, and Kai normal was kids, yeah. taking yeah. They were just normal, and Kai was there taking care of the kids while. You know, uh, Onision and, and whoever was there filming would film. Uh, it was it was never anything strange or weird. When someone says, you know, I feel bad for those kids, I I don't, and yeah. I, and and I don't think that I don't think that they're hurting those kids. I don't. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, um, I, real quick, can we just let's talk about um, Chris Hansen for a second. Um, your yeah. thoughts, your thoughts on that. What What do you think about the um, What do you think about the Chris Hansen Onision investigation or whatever it's supposed to be? What do you think about uh, that? General thoughts. I I think it was a big deal for those girls to have somebody that could signal boost their message. You know, like uh, yeah. that. The, like one one of the big things about like shiloh who was not public for so long she felt like her words weren't being heard right and so she's yeah. like why even go out in public why even subject myself to these this rabid fan base is just going to call me a liar and um she was powerless uh sarah who had been in their care for how many years uh was being controlled uh she was powerless and so when Chris Hansen aligns with these girls, they have power and they give them a voice that is heard. It signal boosts yeah. their, their, I, their, their, their I hurt. agree with that. And I, I think that that's great. And I, well, sorry, I thought that it was great. And I thought that, um, you know, I, I don't know if you know my thoughts about it. I don't know if you're paying attention to what I'm doing or I, anything like that, but. I, yeah, I do like 20 hours yeah. a week of, of podcast streaming. No, so no, it's no. like, so I, don't, I don't follow everything yeah, you're as doing much your own as I thing. should. Yeah, you're doing your own thing, but. Um, I do. I, I thought it was a good thing um, until I saw who Chris Hansen's associated with. Uh, this guy, Vincent, um, he actually he had an issue with me. Um, he had an issue with me and, and like somebody came to him and they, he said he wanted to investigate me. And he lied to some people and said that there was two open cases on me. And then he admitted two weeks later that it wasn't true. Um, and he actually told people I hacked his Twitter. He, do you remember him saying dumb shit on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he said that I hacked him on Twitter and everything like that. And he's. Oh, that he's, was you? <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, right? Dude, he's, he says so many stupid things, but uh, there's, there's a lot of things. And then he docks two other people, um, mm. which is sad. This guy, Wes, uh, and uh, Yap Yap, uh, he docks him on Twitter and everything. So that's why he deleted his Twitter. And, well, it's back now, but in any event, um, he's the guy that all these people, these uh, potential victims, go through first. So. Um, I have a problem with him because he's he actually said that people who are, who watch me fantasize about molesting children. He actually said that. No joke. He said it makes no sense. You know what I mean? Like people who are willing to say that type of fuckery like and he was calling uh Wes a predator, like anybody who comes to him in any type of way and gives him criticism, he'll say that. And I just have a problem with that. So, how do you know it's valid whatever he's saying? Um, and I, I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't find him credible. And like I said, all these potential victims go through him first. They speak to him for at least a week before they even ever speak to Chris Hansen. So, yeah. um, whatever, it, whatever, Chris Hansen might just be an out of touch guy and he's letting this idiot run around and fuck shit up. But well, I, I, you definitely, you know, that uh, like, uh, Chris Hansen doesn't run the, the, the media and everything, yeah. you know, he's yeah. the, he's the figurehead, the face and uh, yeah. someone needs to do that for him. Uh, if 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 Vince is uh, pushing that narrative that just calling everybody a pedophile, I think yeah. that cheapens that cheapens the people they're actually going after quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. That's that's unfortunate. Yeah, um, but it, that's what I mean. That's that's why I had an issue with it. Um, and he's also in like Chris Hansen is now involved with this guy Mike Morris. Have you heard about him? Yeah, yeah, the lawyer. Would you do you know what it is about him or no? 
I, you know, I, I, I've heard, I've heard some things. I know that he uh, came to Seattle with uh, Chris Hansen, which is why I even uh, brought up Chris Hansen recently. He was in Seattle trying to get into Onision's house, and I'm like, <laughs> I've been in that house. Like, if you're here in Seattle, let's come on my podcast, or you know, let's talk yeah, about this. That, like, that, I got, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, he, did he respond or no? Uh, I think some people reached out to me, so we'll see. But I mean, I was. I was just like he was in Seattle. It was like opportune. Like if you're here, that would have been the best something. time, right? I'm right here, dude. I'm right here. Drunken peasants, fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like if you came all the way out to Seattle, and apparently they were like investigating hotels and trying to find the exact hotel that Onision was staying in. Yeah. And it, fr from the way that they set it up, it almost sounds like they were sent on a wild goose chase. Yeah, like, actually. Like, like somebody set them up to come out to Seattle and then chase a hotel because they're like, uh, they were like, uh, Odision must be in this hotel. He must be uh, st live streaming. And then, and then, the well, the videos could have been filmed months ago or, or, or days ago, weeks ago. We don't know. And like, it sounds like someone was like, hey, they're going to be in this area. Go find them. And then they're searching and everything. And then it turns out he's just at his house. Yeah, like, like I knew that the whole time. I'm pretty sure you did too, right? Like anybody who actually believed he was like homeless or kicked out of the house, that's that's crazy. I honestly didn't even watch that. Like I'm hearing about it afterward. <laughs> I, I, this is a big thing about Onision. Um, a lot of the people that you're going to talk to about Onision were Onision fans first. I was never an Onision fan. Like I got yeah. introduced into this because I was talking shit about him in a video. So you weren't even really and, paying attention to his shit really ever then. Yeah, like like you you would ha see the things that would blow up. Like there was stuff that would become trending on YouTube, and you're like, if you're a YouTuber, you want to go after those trends. And I was making comedy videos and videos at the time about YouTube trends. I was like, okay, I'll make a video about being the the third in this relationship. Because there's all these clips of him yeah, saying yeah. how. He dated Billy and I made it sound like he was dating me and it was like it was a joke so like I I wasn't a fan of his before and I just became a friend of his you know I wasn't yeah. a fan no and um, so not, I don't really watch his stuff now either because I didn't yeah. watch it then either yeah so you just kind of you, you you collab with him but you didn't really watch him unless things like really blew up I, I understand yeah that. like like we we he was he was a good friend to me um he was absolutely horrible to a lot of the people around us yeah um there, there were there were multiple girls that uh, would come shoot collabs and videos with us that uh would just feel totally like go not feel they would be ghosted by them when shit went weird with like other relationships yeah. it was it was just it was a very I've, shitty friendship for a I, lot of people around I've him. I've heard that but with me it was never that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand that. Um, so it must have been a strange um, position to be in. Um, how yeah. how many how many people would you say came through there to try to be part of that? Like uh, like to be a third in their couple? Because I feel like that was like an ongoing thing. Always. I definitely don't. Um, I don't know. Uh, I know there were a few girls that would like come to shoots and stuff during like he would have these uh, Airbnb like rentals where we'd all get together and like shoot videos in the Airbnb and we'd stay there uh, overnight sometimes. And uh, I remember there was one night I was talking with these girls and two of the different girls both kind of had like the inkling that, you know, they would totally be the third. They would love to be the third. And I don't know how close that ever got. One girl uh, got pretty close with them. Um, but uh, when the Sarah stuff came out, um, they just ghosted her and stopped talking to her altogether. And she was like, saw how like little she mattered, you know? Yeah. She's like, yeah, God, yeah. You like, you could... and that's a common occurrence uh, with them. I've noticed with the people that they uh, work with, the girls they work with, whether, whether their relationship or not, they just ghost them. And like, it'll be like no contact, like no explanation why they have a problem with them. And then these girls are just like, what's going on? Why are you not talking to me? No response. Yeah. And I think that's, that's aggravating to somebody who thinks that they're in a, in a, in a friendship or a relationship or whatever to just have that end out of nowhere that shows you where the power lies, where the, the control is, and you were never really yeah. equal with these people, you know? Yeah, well, like you think you're something and then it's not. I, yeah, that sucks.
Yeah. Um. So, like, I want to I want to touch on Sarah again too. Like, um, when when you guys when you knew them, you what did you look at Sarah as? I mean, because there's a lot of things out there that say, like, there's clips of Kai saying like she had that she had custody of Sarah. Do you think that she, that was ever true, or do you think that was just something that they said that was like a slip up and just like as, that wasn't true? I as far as i know there was no custody um there was a uh, like a power of attorney type of thing so they could okay. take her to the doctor uh okay. you know it was okay so it was just... so she wasn't like she wasn't like a like a like a foster daughter then no i think they just needed to have like power of attorney for when they had to go to the the, the doctor they could okay. be there for her I, but that's that's again i don't know that for fact okay, so that's you, so what that's, I, I mean that's what, that's you, what i heard that's what you that's think just, okay that's what i heard yeah, yeah it's just okay. it's, it's, but you know it, you hear it from one side i don't know if it's a, yeah. uh, i never saw like documentation paperwork proving sure. this you know I, I i never i never met sarah i never uh really saw the relationship from what i questioned um what i got from onision about it was that you know that was Kai's friend and she lived there and he's like I'm he's like, I don't even really talk to her that much I'm I'm not I'm not really around her too and, much I don't and, know and when you cut ties with him he didn't really give an explanation he just said there was an NDA that's it well I mean he tried he tried in a way to explain how uh things would have ended if uh it was it was it was so unclear it was like I was like yeah I don't know man I I, I can't I I, I can't be around this like one of the major things that i defended him on was that sarah was you know just a friend that needed a place to be you know i was like that it's not it's not going on guys it's not going on like because i took sarah's word for it everybody else was like no there's these these tweets and these these dms and i'm like yeah it could just be dumb flirty dms like i i i don't know how deep it goes i'm gonna listen to sarah I'm yeah, gonna and listen. Then when Sarah, and then when Sarah came out, you chill, totally changed your mind about it. I mean, there was no change of mind. I did the yeah. whole time. I'm like, I'm gonna listen to Sarah, and then Sarah changed her mind. I'm like, I'm listening to Sarah. Yeah. Oh. Like, she's the she's the girl here that's been around since what, 14, 15. She lived yeah. with them since she was 16. Uh, yeah. That's that's. I'm sorry. You got to go with the yeah. the inexperienced youth here for being the one that's being taken advantage of. She's the one that uh, said it. I mean, that's the one. She's. I, I mean, it, she changed her mind about it completely. I I I agree. I, I just I find it weird that uh, Onision hasn't really said anything though. That's that that's what I find odd. I know. I mean, th there's obviously NDAs in play, and whether he wants to uh, hide behind it or abide by it, I don't know what the yeah. what the angle is um I, and it's not helping him i can say that it's not helping it's it's with him like everybody has their mind made up anyways i don't know what he could say it would just add more fuel to the fire i, I really mean, maybe but i don't know well, um like, there's, like, there's like, so much what, what could he say to that's true that's true this, right? i mean i guess but like, it, it's true it's true but i there's just there's so much it's such a circus right now i mean you got chris hansen going to his house you have you have people trying to say like i not no joke my dms at least once a week there's a fake person trying to get me to talk to them about some bullshit that they said onision did to them that's been going on for at least almost a year now you know like uh, i i can't i have to sift through bullshit stories all the time when it comes to him um that was one just, of the big things with with me um yeah. when people would hit me with like these these facts i'm like a lot of the stuff i was like i know this isn't true i know this isn't true yeah. and then even with the sarah stuff i was like sarah says differently i, I know that yeah. it's not real and then like I, so there's all this stuff coming in that's like speculative and i'm like oh, i don't want to hear it because it's from like yeah. a thousand different voices and they all seem to have the same misinformation or yeah. off information it's like the same thing with the chris hansen stuff too is like we need look if we're gonna like if if onision is gonna go to jail there needs to be actual proof and evidence of things and on actual law that was broken do you, like that's another question i want to ask you do you see anything here that you can be like all right onision broke this law i see him going to jail because of this this is the reason why this is the proof what do you think or kai for that matter I mean, there's there's the rumblings of uh, the out of state thing uh, traveling over state lines. 
I don't know if uh, it's going to hold up in court or not. Well, um, that, that's I, don't, thing. I don't know. I keep hearing about an investigation. I've actually personally reached out to the FBI um, in my state and the field office in Seattle. Seattle says that um, they are not like they don't they don't work with Chris Hansen or anything like that, that people can give them potential evidence, like potential evidence or whatever. But that doesn't mean they're going to start an investigation. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if they were to be like, hey, we're starting an investigation, they would say, we, we're looking into this. If you have any any information, please send it to this office. That's what they would say. So like it, for Chris to say that it was it's kind of um, I don't know. I think he might have shot his shot his load a little too quick there. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see in the long run. I don't know. But I, that's the thing with me is that like I keep seeing people being like, oh, he should go to jail. They should go to jail. Like, but there needs to be an actual law that's broken. And I keep looking at things and and trying to like piece together what possibly is there to be like all right yeah they did this guys i i actually don't see it you know what i mean like is it morally wrong and are they like has has he been you know shitty to these people absolutely has he treated he's, you know he, he's 100 percent been manipulative and he has been targeting girls who are young enough to not recognize uh his tactics right like yeah. he wants to be in control of these people that's what he goes after and he goes after people young enough to give him that control and give him that yeah. uh whatever he wants and um i know firsthand how nice he can be you know how good of a person he can be so if he comes at like and it's not even him coming at these girls i've seen these girls like go to him right like they stay they see they see him on youtube they see kai on youtube and they like almost get their minds like already and then they reach out and they get him responding and they're like oh my god i'm talking to onision right there's this uh, immediate like elation and he's like a kind guy like yeah come on i'll fly you out or we're gonna have a meetup come fly out you know come be and and if you come out and it, he sees anything in you that he wants he will explore that yeah, and yeah. when he doesn't want that anymore he'll be like goodbye yeah. And you'll be like, I feel fucking abused, used. That's without abuse, right? It's just yeah. him cutting you out. Cutting because there's like, even if he never like goes as far as he does with you that he did with other girls, like yeah. if he just ghosts you and cuts you out, you're going to feel like you were worthless anyways, right? Yeah. And I've seen that a bunch of times. So it's it's it sucks to see that it can still happen. Like I, I, I know that there are, uh, it's, I've just seen the way that he deals with people and it's not it's not good he cuts yeah. people out of his life immediately for reasons that are probably in his head over what they've actually done mm -hmm. and it's like just that alone is manipulative and shitty right yeah. you, 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 if, if you have a relationship with somebody friendship or sexual relationship you should try and end that the best you can yeah i don't know it's just like That's courtesy it's too. human beings yeah human beings <laughs> yeah right. um but do you um like do you do you feel like do you think that onision should go to prison do you think he should go to jail i know i'm putting you on the spot here and that's a ser very serious question like do you think like honestly he belongs in prison I, does he belong in prison? I think most people in prison uh, don't belong there uh, in the grand scheme of prison. I feel like it's incarceration is yeah. uh, sh shitty. We should have more about reform and, and help for people who are in bad situations. But if he broke the law, uh, if he did horrible things, then... Then he should. It, right? I mean, we, we all have consequences, right? Nobody's above that. That's especially true. somebody especially somebody who uh, has left so much damage in their wake, right? Like, you yeah. want to see the damage stop. That's that's what the fans yeah. uh, that are, are, are out for him are out for. But, like, in the process, they become almost rabid and they take down anybody affiliated with him in yeah. the process. They're all guilty by... Uh, uh, 
a, I don't know, they're, they're, they're all guilty as well. And it's like, I don't think that's the way to do this. I don't think you attack his friends because I backed away um, finally, but I put up with that for so long. And I felt like, I felt like, man, the amount of attack that I'm getting, and I know I didn't do shit wrong. Like, I almost feel bad for Onision. Because I know I didn't do shit wrong, and they're yeah. out here calling me a fucking pedophile enabler, calling me the Jeffrey Epstein of YouTube. And I'm like, I ain't that's doing actually, that shit. Yeah, that's actually true. People have come to me and they said, wow, yeah, Billy's probably involved. Billy's probably getting these girls for him. Billy's probably doing this. And I'm like, nah, man, he's not even he like a fucking hour away, dude. Like, what do you like? Just because he knows it, dude, doesn't mean fucking he's doing but, this shit. I, I, I will be honest with you. Um, I don't have to get girls for Onision. Um, the one thing that his channel does is gives him the, the attention of girls. Mm -hmm. Like, like I I got girls because of working with Onision. You know, yeah. girls would come up and say, oh my God, that's fucking, I love that. You're, you're, you're so fucking funny and da da da. And it's like, I, I love, I love the fan base that, that is around this because they're genuine exciting happy people you know that's yeah. any fan base yeah. and 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 when i broke away from onision i'm thinking about all these close fans that i'd almost become friends with and i'm like they're gonna be hurt that i'm no longer with onision and i feel bad for them because they all they ever wanted was to be entertained you know all they wanted was to sit back and have a good time yeah and and a lot of them stuck with me regardless you know and i'm like yeah. fuck, I'm, I'm glad to I hear mean, that you got yeah. you got a good channel and a good base anyways regardless when it comes to you know drunken peasants and and yeah i like people channel, who say that know? people who say i was only working with onision for like money or, or, or views or whatever yeah I don't yeah the, that. that's the, that that's dumb i seriously like, don't believe that at all <laughs> there is absolutely no money involved <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I, would, I would last, say probably more two, I would say probably more negatives than positives honestly oh yeah a hundred percent the last year or two um it's th there's been like no positive clout it's all been negative yeah. the first time I showed up you know there was a lot of positivity there was yeah. and it was like oh cool he still was getting like a hundred couple hundred thousand views a video that's decent yeah. I was like this is fun and the, the one thing about him that I uh, really I was impressed by was he's just knows how to get the shot and knows how to edit skits really quick yeah. he's just fucking like he's good at that shit so it's like we, we get together he works hard he does he works hard yeah we get together and he pumps out like 10 videos because we're just rolling through stuff we're not reading scripture just going no takes just filming stuff and then boom he's got like 10 videos filmed yep. and it's like that's impressive dude yeah it is that's that's i think that's the reason why he's gotten where he has and, and, you know and his, his work career. ethic yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and i think i think a lot of times you have that work ethic uh because you 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 know you have to work harder to like hide like things inside of you like I, I do think that he is a very broken human being um he I, I think a lot of what he does and not not sexual predator stuff but a lot of the way he treats people is because he doesn't want to be hurt first yeah so he hurts first is that like i mean uh, like first thing i can think of is like how we acted like jacqueline glenn or something like that like that was very odd you know what i mean like he wasn't even like dating her and he was like talking about her breast and all types of shit. it was just it, it, it was weird it was a weird situation um yeah i don't know he, he's he's acted very strange to a lot of people when he's not even like when it's just just regular you know relationships just friendships or whatever but um something i want to talk, talk like touch on again before we like come to like a close or we'll come well, i'm close but i just want to ask you about like how do you feel about, like the like the anti-o and like that community like have you invested any time in being around that or no like i mean being a part of it uh not really what what i do try to do is when they come at me with uh allegations or whatever I try and talk through with them as much as I can one by one because I know where their frustrations coming from. Yeah. I know I know why they're doing what they're doing and if I can help focus their attention on something that might actually get them to where they want to be and not waste it yelling at Bill Fridge for being like an asshole online. Yeah, like, yeah I I'm, I'm an asshole online a lot. Like that's part of my shtick. I, I literally yeah. am uh, an abrasive loud annoying person uh and then <laughs> and then i try and dial it back i try and be like 
okay, now that I'm annoying, let's give him a little bit, like a little moral to the story, you know? Yeah. I was going hard, like hard, hard and hot, and then cool it down. And be like, but you know what? At the end of the day, we're all human. And it's sometimes, <laughs> shit, you know? Yeah. And, and it's, it's just part of my, my, my character, my storytelling. And when they see little pieces of me being that asshole, they're like, no, he must be evil. He must be, he must be helping Onision. Take in it the out dungeon. of context. Take it out of context, right? Yeah, but it's context, but, but it's, it's, it's more than just context, right? Like it's, it's agenda driven. They want to make me another bad guy. I keep and seeing that. I don't like, feel like I am. No, you're not. I, no, Maybe you're, I am. Maybe I, I am. Nah, <laughs> man, I really don't see it like that, man. I really think they take, take what you're saying sometimes like too seriously and too literal. I, um, I, I gotta be. They want to find. They want to find. They want to find something. I, I, I gotta be honest. Like, I feel like sometimes they're willing to like do so much. You know what I mean? They're they're doing so much when it when it comes to like trying to take down on AC on and stuff like that. Where it's gotten to the point that you can't even you can't even be like it's not reliable anymore. Like some of it's just not reliable. They're willing. Like I, I feel like somebody could go on a, a stream tomorrow and be like, yeah, I saw Onision eat like ten pieces of dog shit, and like you know, it could be literally anything, and they're like. Yep, totally. <laughs> totally it happened. Well, they want they want more information because they're not getting what they really need and that's closure. They're not getting the end of this story and it's been going on for what 10 years in some form or another. And they they're all like for some people from the very beginning were like he's a piece of shit. Yeah. And then some people more and more people now are like he's a piece of shit. But there's absolutely no ending to that story it's yeah, just it's just going a piece on of shit. and they're going. like well then feed us more information fill us up with more of his shit because we're trying to hang in there we're trying to take this guy down we need to tell us does he does he pick his fucking nose and eat it and you're like i've never seen him do that <laughs> but i bet you i bet you he does yeah i know it's it's crazy oh. i i'm gonna be honest i don't really consider myself that anymore i did at one point and then i'm like damn this is wild like if you look further back on my channel like i used to be like hardcore go i don't see on but like now yeah. I, I find myself i gotta be in the middle i can't these people they they they're willing to do and say some crazy shit and i just can't fuck with that i think the biggest problem is um you feel obligated to support even the crazy shit because you don't know what's right and what's not yeah so you just gotta support everything right and that's not safe yeah that's not safe at all that's that's how that's how false shit happens you know what i mean and like let's and, and and when you focus on every little detail you take away from the details that really matter um like the this stuff with uh Shiloh that Shiloh went through I, I I I wish that more people saw that rather than the charming person that Onision was because there was a lot of girls that fell for that charm and uh, end up in similar positions yep yeah and, and um, that, that sucks hold on let me uh, let me just bring up this uh, restraining order real quick I want to I want to like just show show you that and uh, see what you think because I actually have the restraining order and everything like that which is uh interesting um yeah hold on um so yeah he's um I don't, I don't know if he's actually suing um them or if it's just a restraining order i'm hearing two different things so i'm not 100 percent sure at this moment but i see that like it has a court date right here like it, it says like but it's for chris hansen uh yeah like Kai and, and james or which you know greg whatever right? yeah yeah uh, which is going by and then there's uh this is the restraining order against chris hansen all right and then there's, there's one against uh you know uh Repsion also yeah. um yeah so have you uh have you seen these yet or like uh what's your uh what's your thought uh, process on that the, the original like statement around it was that it was lawsuits right yeah they were like this these are lawsuits yeah and it turns out they're just personal protection orders they're a lot easier to file than a lawsuit um i think that i don't know uh chris hansen did show up to his house uh, where his kids were, that's why his kids are probably named in the Chris Hansen one and not the Repsion one. Yeah, yeah. But I think the the end goal for this for Onision would be that if they can't talk about him for a year because of a personal protection order, then he gets a win there. I think that's why he's doing this because I don't think anybody really thinks Chris Hansen is going to come back to his house and and stalk him. Um, but he just wants you know, to get him away from him. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, and and I think that's the intent of this. Uh, it could be, 
just another step in a bunch of missteps uh, for Onision. You know, he's he's one man that's trying to uh, fight all these people, and it's like, what's this really do in the end of the day? Does it make you look any better? I don't know. I mean, that will it will like everybody I talk to is like. There's no way that protection order is going to stay. You know, it's not going to stick. It's 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 dumb. He's wasting his time. So I don't uh, know. I I don't. I actually don't believe that. I think if he's going to court and if he's serious about it and if he writes the right things, I mean, they might grant it. I don't know. It depends. Depends on the court. It depends on the judge. Honestly. I mean, it it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Uh, you really have to uh, wonder. Uh, where this saga is going to continue if you're ever going to get that closure that everybody looks for yeah uh, i i know i i honestly i really i don't know if he i don't i don't think he's going to go to jail that's my own personal opinion but um i i hope um people i hope enough people i hope i hope this has brought enough attention to people to just stay away and not get into those situations that led up to all these things you know with all these women who have, have ultimately been affected by him i hope they they see this and at least that's enough of a warning hopefully hopefully you know i mean um i don't know it, like when you see all this stuff going on with onision right now like what what's your what's your thoughts just as a former friend like like what what do you what do you think about when you when you see all this bullshit when people are saying this stuff about him like how do you, how does that like how, like what do you what how do you feel about that like because i i was thinking about that before we did this like i mean i don't know how i would feel like i mean that's strange you know every everything that comes back on him uh, has a lot to do with the way he treats people right yeah. <laughs> it's like you can't blame anybody but him for this yeah. because he continually took a advantage maybe of people i mean maybe advantage isn't the right word but he manipulated a lot of people and he treated them like they weren't important and hurt a lot of people in the process and i think even if you were never hurt by onision you can see how much damage he's dealt and like have empathy for those people and you're like fuck this guy why is he able to do this time and again um and i mean i don't know why I don't know. He definitely is very careful not to break the law uh, when yeah. he does things. I think I, I always said it best. You were saying that he uh, skirts the law. You know what I mean? He knows the law. He skirts it. Just true. I, I've seen him. I've seen him do it. Um. I, I okay. So. Um. Anyways, is there is there any other, any other topic you wanted to like uh go, like go over was like as far as like the Onision thing or you, like um I just wanted to ask you like what you got going on next like besides like just with you and everything like that what do what do you have like I mean I know you got drunken peasants in the IRL like what what do yeah. you have like come like upcoming stuff uh, what do you have going on? I've been just really doing a lot of streaming. I'm hoping to uh travel a little more with it too. That's it's uh, one thing that I, I like to do now that I'm not as fat because I lost a couple hundred pounds yeah. is uh, get on a plane and go somewhere without having to worry about fitting, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're great, man. <laughs> totally different. I've, I've been seeing your streams, man. Seriously, they are fun as fuck. Keep doing them. They're fun as fuck. I know, like, I, I used to do IRL and, like, I stopped. I got to start doing it again. That shit's so fun. It's, it's it's fun to do and it's fun to watch, you know? So, yeah, yeah. You get, you get, like, these people who are confrontational. And I had, like, yeah. one guy punch me in the back of the head and try and throw <laughs> me down try and throw me down some stairs just because his girlfriend got drunk and tried to kiss me oh, it's man. like it's like man like it, it was it was great it's yeah. so ridiculous content it's right so ridiculous. there yeah yeah fuck man that's so funny shit yeah um fuck so i know i know um so what you say you're doing drunken peasants like you're gonna be doing that tonight because i'm gonna release this tomorrow so you're doing that tonight right yeah yeah saturdays we do uh a show just about every saturday and we usually do tuesday thursday saturday uh it's just that's great too how the, how the fuck did you how did you end up like on drunken peasants too because i know like i, I know I, I i know like it was after like when tj was leaving or well, when did this happen it was before it was before he left it, it was left. actually 100 percent like i did a video with onision one of the first videos i did they covered mm -hmm. and and paul was on the show and he was like Wait, I actually know this guy. Uh, I know of this guy. It's Billy the Fridge. He's a rapper out here in Seattle. And then everybody was like, "He should get on the show." Get on. And then the fans would hit me up like, "Come on, the Drunken Peasants." And I'm like, yeah. "I guess." And then I messaged in, and they brought me in, and we just really clicked. And uh, I think there was a transition period where the guys were moving out of Seattle. A lot of the the 
peasants were moving away from Seattle and the distance kind of made it harder to really uh, bring the vibe back that they so, had. So for. wait, man, do you guys do that all in the same room? Is that how that works? Ben and I are in the same room and then we Skype in uh, the guests any, usually. Any guests right yeah, we like we've had people in the studio before. Uh, we had uh, Onision in studio, Repsion in studio. Uh, people who are in the the area, you know, we invite them in. Yeah, that's and right. You them. and you and Repsion are friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, um, I've 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 hung out with Repsion quite a bit. Um, not as much as I've hung out with Onision, but uh, you know, uh, Onision and I were doing videos together and working together. Repsion and I just, you know, maybe he'll come to Drunken Peasants, and then we'll go out and get dinner and stuff. But yeah. we, don't, we don't have that collaborative. Yeah, I, think I, I think I saw Joyce Sparkle actually freak out with a picture of you and uh, Repsion. Was. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, we were. We it was like PAX weekend, and I think it was like me and uh, Chris Raygun and Repsion and Jeff Holiday and Mundane Matt, just like a total group of, uh, of degenerates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she freaked out, made like a forty-minute video or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, and she talked shit about everybody but yeah. me. I know. Well, I, like, it's, but Billy's it, a sweet boy. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's your thing. That's your thing. Yeah, you're a sweet yeah. boy, man. That's your thing. <laughs> Fuck, dude! I swear, like I don't know. Joy, Joy's an interesting person. She really is. But for really, I don't know. It's hard to talk shit about you. Like I don't know. I had like that interaction we had on, on DP. Seriously, like it, it was fucking ridiculous. But still, even if we hadn't talked again afterwards, like I still respected that situation one hundred percent. You guys, I don't know. Like I said, like your show runs. It's like it's a good fucking show. You know what I mean? It's a good channel. Yeah. It is. You guys run a good fucking channel. It's really good. You know. We got a good. We got a good fan base that keeps us yeah. moving you know it's 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 cool yeah it's it's uh it's definitely something to admire and aspire to like be like honestly like because like when i do stuff like you know like i i kind of formulate around the same type of shit and it's it's good it's a good it's good the way you guys do things is just good anybody who's trying to do like a fucking podcast or anything like that it's definitely i don't know it's the way to try to do shit you know it's just it's professional and it runs smooth it's good yeah you guys doing another 24 hour stream soon or you have that in mind we did like a we did like a 666 minute stream recently yeah and i think that that was long enough (laughs) (laughs) we're gonna gonna wait we we, we might do a 24 hour down the road but uh it'll it'll be a while those things are they're draining draining Draining, definitely yeah draining fuck but all right man thanks thanks for uh coming on and shit i'm sure um you'll get a little bit of shit for doing this and everything like that but uh yeah for like on, we, we, we have that we have that history and i think that uh you've been trying to really talk to me about that history for a while and i've been so like occupied and busy that yeah when you hit the day i was like fuck it let's let's sit down and let's 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 bang this out and talk yeah so i appreciate it and uh yeah make sure you let ben know too that i, I actually have no issue with him i don't know i think he thinks that i do or whatever i don't know i think i called out like one thing he did but then i thought about it and i was like nah he didn't i, I don't know i kind of spoke too soon i i think i called him out on something and i spoke too soon honestly i think we can all do that yeah uh, that's, that's one of the things that I, I think why a lot of people don't talk a lot of shit about me is because i am quick to understand that you know uh we're not perfect none of us are yeah. uh, the, the, which might be my problem why i hung out with onision for so long right i'm like he's not perfect yeah it's just, what are you gonna do but I, I try and find the best in people and i think that, that shows off a lot of times but even when i'm being a dickhead to people they're like oh it's hard to hate this guy because he's really not out here trying to hurt anybody but yeah that's kind of what I put together. Who knows? Maybe I'm just like next level sociopath, Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, man. I don't know. Fucking make an eight, make an eight part series about you pretty soon, you know? Fuck. Just, just, yeah, where's Shane Dawson? <laughs>